Hi, Taurus. It's Amethyst Rose for you guys an energy check in. Uh, this will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. When you see this, Taurus, is when you're meant to see it. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, it is a collective message. Um, yeah, but we're going to pull on this strawberry full moon energy to see what um, spirit wants you to know at this time. You know, <clears throat> see what's happening or will happen or whatever. Whatever comes out, I can't control that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to tell it to you guys like I'm told, okay? Um, the Amethyst Rose bracelets are available. The link is below there. Amethyst Rose Quartz, Clear Quartz, Black Obsidian. Uh, great for blocking and absorbing negative energy, heightening your intuition, and feeling the love, okay? Uh, the link is below. Candles will be available for purchase by the end of the week, okay? Again, um, they did sell out last time within the uh, first two days. Uh, so if you're not signed up for the newsletter, definitely uh, get signed up. But I will bring the the uh, information to um, YouTube, but I'll, it's only after I send out the newsletter that morning, okay, to the people who are on the, the list. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, God, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. This message is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What do we have for them today? Please and thank you, Spirit. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Please block any interference that stops their messages from coming through. Please and thank you. Taurus. All right. <clears throat> I think it's cricket. It's okay. As long as y'all can see the cards, I really don't care about anything else. But it's like real bad cricket though. I think that's okay. Yeah. Um, listen to the wisdom of your intuition. Your inner voice is the best friend you will ever have. Seek answers from deep within rather than just through your intellect. Okay. So make sure you are paying attention um, to your intuition. Okay, Taurus. Um, someone could have been doing that. All right. Um, but it says enjoy the tranquility of water. To remove stress, immerse yourself in a soothing bath. Walk near a body of water or gently splash water on your face. Okay. Somebody could be feeling stressed out right now. So, Taurus, just kind of take it easy. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get this. Ugh, that's aggravating. Anywho. Lord. I'm over here acting like a Virgo. Where they do this at? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo AF <laughs> I'm not a Virgo I'm just saying um, Anyway oh, Let's go ahead and get into it This is for oh, that's bothering me too. This is for Tar I don't know maybe y'all dealing with the uh, Virgo Okay Friends with a Virgo Something Okay Um <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, God, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. These messages are for Taurus, the Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What do we have for them on today? Please and thank you. Appreciate you so much. All right, let's quit and get into it. Taurus. Okay. Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. Would you taking some time off? Somebody's working walking away from something though. They're not working on anything anymore. They don't want to work on anything anymore. This could be with the Libra. Okay. So yeah. Or this is who you work with. Maybe you work with this person, but somebody's leaving. Maybe a co-worker is leaving work. You got the uh the hierophant here, okay. With the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there could be a Taurus feminine that's significant. This could be somebody's baby mother. Maybe somebody doesn't want to make it work anymore. You know, maybe somebody doesn't want to make a marriage work anymore. Seven of Cups. And that could be you. Uh, Taurus, this is your reading. 
So this could be you. Somebody's emotional at this time. They don't. Somebody doesn't want something to work. Somebody doesn't want to make anything work. They don't want to make it work anymore. Um. So that could be you, or that could be you know some you know. Just take it how it resonates. But it looks like something does have something to do with the Cancer Feminine. Maybe somebody married this person. Something has something to do with the work contract. So I don't know if somebody's leaving that. If a contract is being dissolved here. Okay. Um, Queen of Wands with the Justice card. Okay. So something can have something to do uh, with the Fire Sign Feminine or a Libra. There's that Eight of Cups again. So if somebody is, this is somehow somebody is getting their justice from leaving whatever this is, this contract. So I, somebody could be releasing somebody from a contract. There could be a, a divorce being finalized or somebody wants a divorce. Okay. Whatever this is, it's, it's freeing though. It's like now somebody's getting the notion to like, let you go. Maybe somebody didn't, the magician. Maybe somebody didn't want to let you go and now they're like letting you go or something else is letting you go or um, it does look like somebody is manifesting some money. So you could be doing some kind of money work or something like that. Taurus, you know, y'all love y'all money. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay, we got the high priestess here. Okay, so somebody could be spiritually inclined. Somebody could do something in divination. Wow, we have counterparts. Wow, what is this? Somebody, somebody attractive too. It's like an it's like an attractive uh spiritual practitioner. Like a it's like a sexy spiritual practitioner couple. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Or somebody's somebody could be marrying a spiritual practitioner or someone you know a psychic or something like that there's it's a lot going on right here three of cups two people could be coming back together something is emotionally fulfilling something is a reason to celebrate okay i mean taurus this is a good looking little reading right here this is what you've manifested Okay. Yes, it is. Ace of Swords. Yes. Beautiful. Somebody's very intuitive too. Childbearing. Somebody could also see the truth about whoever this water sign feminine is. Like I said, could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, could be a Scorpio. But somebody can see the truth about it. About this person, what they do, what they're about. Uh, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's starting something new here. Or this is what somebody did. Somebody could be very childish. Somebody is like a person that like keeps somebody. They keep somebody locked to them or stuck to them. Or like it's kind of like if you do this for me, I do this for you. If you work this many or if you do this for me this many times. Or you do this work right here for me. And then I'll give you what it is that I you, you that's really owed to you in the first place. Dang. No, they, so basically somebody play guy here. Okay. Uh, why is that the energy today? Okay. Uh, let's get in. Let's go ahead and keep. Somebody played God. Somebody felt like your blessings or your money or whatever this is, or maybe that's a lesson that somebody had to learn. Somebody was trying to be smart here, but they should have just really just been like, or realized that my blessings don't come from you, human. They come from God. That's, they pass through you, but they're not from you. This you, you don't determine my blessings that I've manifested and that I'm getting for being... Um, th this is like a student and teacher dynamic here. Wow. Who are we doing again? Taurus. <sighs> okay. So put everybody where they go because I don't know who's who. But somebody here was a student. Somebody here was a teacher. Somebody put somebody on. But but then that kept them bound to them or do what I say. Or uh, if you don't do what I say, you don't get this. So, okay. Uh, let's get these cards. It's getting a little annoying now. So uh, I swear, you read cards. Sometimes you wish you could unsee what you see. But it's okay. King of Swords. So you got the King of Swords and the Hierophant out here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. 
So basically, somebody didn't make the right decision. Okay, somebody may also be moving like their residences, or you need to think you need to seriously look into it or try to, you know, whoever this is, my nose itching now. Uh huh. Somebody could have cancer, highly aspected. This is two people who could do the same thing. Okay, here we go. So two people do the same thing, but they do something in divination. I don't care what it is. Read rocks. I don't even know. I don't think that's a thing, but it doesn't matter. Some people could do it. They, they, I, mean, I mean, whatever. Uh, but somebody put somebody else on. Somebody was somebody's uh, boss, basically, um, or their teacher or supposed to be their teacher. All right. But somehow something got kind of confusing or positions got confusing. There was a whole big mix up in the play or maybe it got a little too fun. Maybe they start mixing work with pleasure is what it looks like to me. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, okay. Let's, but somebody here, they got to a point where when they start getting the work with pleasure part, they got real mean and cruel and and just cold to this person huh. um you should watch the aquarius reading mm. it's called the raft of god so now somebody is showing the teacher the teacher gonna get that word basically let me get one on this please this is a sun moon rising north no venus Take it how it resonates. Everybody ain't in this kind of dynamic. This could be two people who are married to each other. It could be, they could just simply be married spiritually. Somebody got involved with somebody, somebody, somebody worked with, played some kind of trickery, did a little spell work. There is definitely spell work involved here. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the, magi the magician and the Eight of Cups. Just so somebody would like stay with them or they'll get back with them or they'll give them attention or they could party together or be with them, be in their energy, whatever. Somebody definitely did that. Okay. But there was something that was a higher purpose here. Okay. That was meant to be fulfilled or on a certain level by now. And it's not due to somebody wanting to play God. But now God is mad. God is mad because somebody tried to play God. Okay. Now everybody on the same page. Let's move on. All right, nine of pentacles with the lovers. All right, so listen, there's somebody here. They're one woman or one man show, or they're meant to be, okay? Uno, okay? Somebody's meant to be just, it's supposed to be just them. But so somebody got this person locked in the contract with them. So this could be just, like I said, something regular, work-related. This like a third, this like your person working with their ex, and they ex like their supervisor or something, they break up. It's cool that we broken up. I'm letting you keep your job. But you get somebody else in this person or want to be with somebody else. And this person like, hell no, we won't go. And they like do some kind of spell work or something like that. Put you on a spell or something or this person under a spell so that they can reconcile three of cups with this person. Or that this person will want to be single or this person will be single out. Or do something to their image, their looks, their appearance. I don't know what this person was doing, but they definitely tried to play on somebody's appearance here. Okay? I don't know what this is, but it's, that's what it looks like to me. I don't know why. Some of this stuff don't make sense to what you read, but somebody could have Gemini highly aspected. There's somebody where somebody was supposed to be in a connection or there was a connection here or two people came together. They were supposed to be spiritually connected to each other. Okay? To deliver the truth. But anyway, let's move on. Mm -mm. <sighs> Again, they just remind me of that Virgo energy I was speaking of in the beginning. Yeah. All right. So, so this has something to do. Somebody could be like, somebody could be a Pisces North Node. And somebody was meant to work with a Pisces North Node as well. Or somebody was in a relationship. You and this person had Pisces North Node. Somebody didn't want somebody to get to their destiny. That, 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 okay. All right, let's keep going. I can't deal with this reading. It's so annoying. Um, I'm sorry, Tars. I'm just, I'm just the messenger. Please just let me, just get, let me get this message to you. That's it. All right, let me get one on the higher fan, please. What's the message? 
This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. Strawberry, Full Moon messages for Taurus. Okay. Three of Swords or the Two of Swords. Oh. With the Knight of Cups. So somebody's heartbroken. They're missing you, okay? Or somebody broke your heart, you know? It broke your heart that somebody wanted you to uh, not be seen. Or something that you didn't see about this person that broke your heart. You thought this person really loved you. You really thought this person loved you. Whoever this teacher person is or this uh, military person or armed forces person or Taurus. This could be another Taurus. This could be a cross watcher or uh, definitely, yeah, somebody here could be very smart as well. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is very smart, but <laughs> the unfortunate part. And the sad part, three of swords, two of swords, is that somebody is just trying to outsmart God. And it's like, come on. I really, this really giving me, like this person right here, it's funny though, because if this person works in um, divination, it seems like they're not very bright because it, I would think that you believe in forces unseen, but this person seems to feel like they were God. So this could be where the heartbreak and the confusion is coming in that somebody really just couldn't think that they could be hurt or that they would be hurt or touched. Somebody feels felt feels felt whatever, whoever untouchable. And this is somebody that somebody worked with. I'm telling you, somebody just I don't it's almost like I'm a do spell work to. Put, I'm going to cast a spell on this person. I'm going to do something, some kind of protection work for myself. And then I'm good. But then God looks in on the like, hmm. Well, I don't know. That, I, mean, I mean, I really feel like it's a laugh out loud moment. Like, <laughs> I just heard the saying, God laughs when we're making plans. That's what this, like... This was this person, like, this was they plan, though. But it ain't funny. Oh, wow. Okay, anyway. Let me get one on the magician. And they about to see it's not funny. Whoever this is. Or at some point. This just the messages that I'm able to get in this energy. So, but eventually. Okay. They can't manipulate this, this, themselves out of this. The magician. The magician is clarified by the three of pentacles and the moon. So if it wasn't them, this person worked with somebody else to do whatever this spell work is, this moon magic, whatever this is, something to hold you back. Something is deal, something uh have something to do with the number four as well as the number three. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me get one, please, on the high priestess. They were working with somebody else. The high priestess is clarified by the moon. So you already know what this is. Whatever this is that was hidden, listen to the wisdom of your intuition. Some, what happened is somebody caught wind of this just by using their intuition. Or they got this information from a, a, um, from a tarot reader or a psychic or somebody who they read something. Like I said, somebody got their, somebody didn't get the truth from their teacher. A, a tarot reader told somebody the truth about their teacher. Okay. Somebody, a tarot reader told somebody what was hidden. And somebody used their intuition to kind of go back and forth and try to put the pieces together. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. They put it together themselves, but the information that they received came from a reading or um, something of the sort. I don't care if it's palms, trees, whatever. I don't know. Uh, Ace of Swords. Yeah. So somebody found out the truth that was hidden. Like it, all of it was just a whole like get rich quick scheme or something like that. Where somebody does all the work. They, they're they the image. They're the face of something. But a lot of somebody, somebody gets a lot on the back end. Just for like putting this person on or, or something like that. Somebody gave somebody a comfortable job. And somebody who is a Pisces North Node uh, who... It's, it's a comfortable job, so they felt like, oh, 
look at this. This is a blessing. Or maybe they don't even look at it. Oh, I'm lucky. You know, somebody who ain't really tapped into that God life or believe. Like at some point, whoever this person is, the teacher and the student, they were like on the same wave. They, like it was disregards to higher power, like in real life. This person right here is somebody that's just more so like spell work, occult, um, um, astrology. This person right here, no, it's like you take out the main figure, which is God, the creator of the universe. Okay. Okay. Let's study planets, but we don't know how they even get here or we don't believe, we really don't really believe that the God is the creator of the universe. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know where that outburst came from, but I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. Ace of Swords. <laughs> that's, that spe that's that spirit medium stuff coming, kicking back in again. That was not me. I'm sorry. Ace of Swords. What is this? <sighs> Lord, these, they, they frustrated. Okay. This thin veil do something to you. I swear it does. Uh, stream card. Okay. So somebody can see the truth about this Leo masculine. This could be somebody. Somebody just, okay. Okay. So somebody like a tough guy. Okay. 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 Oh. They said they want to see how tough this person is. Oh. So it feel, it get, it's giving me that something's just now getting like worked up. That's what it's giving me. Give me one more for the Ace of Swords. Like, really and righteously, Ace of Swords. Can I get one for the Ace of Swords and the Strength card? Yeah. Four of Wands. Oh, that came out in the same position. Go watch the Aquarius reading. Oh, my God. Nine of Wands. Somebody finna get beat with a stick. Five of Pentacles. They're gonna lose a whole bunch of money. It's L, 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 L is what it looks like to me. Nine of, nine of Wands. Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody may even lose their house here. Okay. This reminds me of the reading why I said there was gonna be a storm and people were gonna be dancing outside. Somebody's house can't withstand whatever this is. Wow. Somebody may be home alone. Go watch the Aquarius reading. I swear. Somebody could there's something they have a family but somebody has like a separate house or something or somebody's family isn't gonna have a place to stay like after it's all said and done what is this i don't know what's gonna happen but somebody don't shoot the messenger and it looked like that's what somebody tried to do. Ooh, let me uh, let me get one on this page of page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Page of pentacles, please. Ooh. Ooh. Something moving in, man. I'm just going to say that. I'm just a messenger. This clarifying the page of pentacles. Somebody manifested what? Somebody manifested this for themselves, though. Maybe somebody met. Somebody could have. I don't know. Somebody could have sent something your way, Taurus. Or take it how it resonates. A Taurus sent this to you. Um, somebody wanted somebody dead. Or to go away. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, Death Card. Wow. No, they didn't. So, anyway, they're getting that back. No biggie, you know. Uh, yeah, and it, I'm telling you, like, uh uh, something is something coming in. Oh, man. Uh, whatever this is, somebody don't see it coming, though. Or they can't control it. There's no amount of magic or no kind of protection. Just like I said in that Aquarius read, a lot of swords in this reading. A lot of swords. But somebody can't fight whatever this is. There's nothing to combat whatever this is. Nothing will protect this person. Nothing. Nothing. 
And it looks like, too, somebody tried to single somebody out. So, that could have been what happens. Like I said, that somebody wanted somebody to feel like the outcast. Or that was what they were going around saying. You know, they were telling other people, their friend groups or people that they, you know, consort with or whatever. Oh, Taurus, yeah. They, they, they such and such. Ooh, 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 ooh. Or they working with such and such. Or um, such and such talking to... Such and such uh, must be talking to... Um, Taurus must be talking to uh, Pisces or whatever, you know what I'm saying, um, and getting the information. And then they just, and then they just, you know what I'm saying. It's like somebody didn't believe or something like that. If it is something in divination, somebody didn't believe that somebody was really just tapped into source, and they were really getting this, these messages by themselves. And so they sent somebody some spell work or they told somebody their student or the person that works for them. If you don't do this to them, I'm going to do X, Y, Z to you. And God don't like that. So, anyhow, yeah, sounds great. Uh, Taurus, don't know what you got going on here. Go check the other placements. Uh, yeah, that's when you know somebody just channeling because I, I got to hop back up out of that. I don't even know what that is, okay? I don't know what kind of messages we get today, but you can tell that moon energy moving in because they completely different messages from yesterday. They get into the nitty gritty today, so ooh, I hate to be on the end of, on the bad side of this because it look it look a look. Go watch the Aquarius reading. It's called the Raft of God, and I also have an Aquarius reading that talks about a storm. Where somebody's house is going to receive damage. I forgot what moon energy I did that that in. But I'll tag it in this one. Can I get one for Aquarius please? Sun, moon, rising, north node, and Venus. Please and thank you. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, somebody definitely has Leo highly aspected. Somebody in this scenario... And somebody was so prideful, so boastful. Look at me. I'm the truth. I'm the king. I'm the one. I'm God. Okay, then. Cool. Uh, work through your fears. So I don't know who on the other end, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. For some people, this hasn't happened yet. For some people, it has. So work through your fears, you know. Listen to your intuition, the wisdom of your intuition. Trust God, okay? Somebody could have a prominent Scorpio placement, like I said. Um, but yeah, by the time the new moon creeps in, somebody won't have anything, like a care in the world. All right, that is your reading. Tara, it's a little awkward there, but please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.